So it looks like Michelle's show has got something to say in regards to old Knox. And we finna hear my man out. But first, intro. Yo, what is good, fam bam? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all. As you guys know, if you've been following me for the past few weeks or so, then you guys know I just did a reaction to the most recent diss track season, which uh, features both uh, Dada and Knox Hill, and also Dada and Ren. <clears throat> and it looks like Michelle Show has got some words for Knox Hill because, and I can't say I blame him because something that I noticed, there was a common theme in uh, Knox Hill's diss towards Dada and Ren's diss towards Dada. Michelle's show was always mentioned um, in their disses and whatnot. And as we all know, Michelle's show, it, I guess from what I from what I understand, because I do watch some of Michelle's show's videos and I did catch the video where he was uh, basically talking about Addressing this whole this track season, this whole beef between Dada and Knox Hill and Ren. And Michelle Show said that he used to be a rapper. He's not a rapper anymore. You know, he's just a reactor. And just like all reactors, my man, you know, gives his takes on things that he listens to. Nothing wrong with that, man. My man is entitled to do that. He's entitled to his views. He's entitled to his opinions. You know what I'm saying? And um, I've noticed that Knox and Ren, they've been kind of going in on Michelle Show. Um... You know what I'm saying? And that, that, that is just not cool. So we're going to get Michelle's show side of things. And uh, we'll give, I'll give you more of my thoughts and my commentary as we progress. So without further ado, y'all, let's hear what my man Michelle show has to say by liking the hit here. Go. Michelle show. Hi, chick. I got to address it because I don't like that. I don't like people just be saying stuff. And people just think things and they don't know what the hell they talking about now this is the thing i ain't got no problem i can't be fake i ain't got no problem with knox hill i always liked it knox hill since the first time i seen i just think he's a trash rapper now them songs that i trashed i trashed them because i think they trash and i stand by that those songs are garbage but and he's allowed to think that now look just because he may not like uh, your, your music, that doesn't mean he dislikes you as a person. That's two different things. You know what I mean? You can like somebody as a person and not like them as an artist and vice versa. You can not like someone as a person, but you can like them as an artist. You know what I'm saying? You can do that. It, anyway. Some reason he calling me a flip flopper. Like I like him, then I don't like him. Then I like him, then I don't like him. I've been consistent the whole fucking time. All my, you can go back, look at my comments. You can go back, look at what I'm saying in the video. I always say I either like Knox Hill or I love Knox Hill. That's all you're going to see. You never heard me say I hate Knox Hill or I don't like Knox Hill. Like, come on, man. Like, like, where, where is this coming from, man? Now, the first video I did hating on YouTubers 11, I never knew you at all. So if I roasted you hard, it was just that video before I got to know you or ever talk to you or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So... That's that. Ever since then, I even say that you beat me. I sit there and praise your channel. I sit there and say you the best reaction breakdown channel. My favorite reaction channel. All I do is sit there and praise Knox Hill for his channel and his personality. But I say that his songs and his rapping is lackluster. It's no... To which, again, he's entitled to his views and his opinions. And look... Just because you like somebody, that doesn't mean you're going to like everything that they do. Okay? Nobody likes an, likes an ass kisser. You know, I'm an Upchurch fan. Does that mean I like everything that Upchurch does? No. And that's cool because there's two people that Upchurch doesn't like. He doesn't like, you know, fake people, ass kissers, because those are fake people. You know what I'm saying? And he doesn't like haters. You know what I mean? People who just hate on his shit just to hate on it. And every time I react to Upchurch's stuff, I always give my unbiased feedback. If there's something that I'm not feeling, I'm going to say it. If there's something that I am feeling, I'm going to say that too. You know what I'm saying? doesn't make me a flip-flopper, does it? I mean, by I guess by Knox Hill's logic, that would probably make me a flip-flopper. No, there... 
just because someone is a fan of yours or someone likes you again that doesn't mean they have to like everything that you do if that's your expectation for when someone likes you you're being unrealistic and you're setting yourself up for failure so anyway go back and forth now you saying that I'm overhyping this this after I called you trash because mm -hmm. this this is better than what I heard. Mm -hmm. It's obvious this is better than what I heard. They're like, why is this so? And and I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Knox Hill. I don't care if you're Crypt. Insert whatever YouTube rapper's name here. Your pen game does change over time. It gets better over time. So... And you, you guys are going to see why I say that. So let's go ahead and get back into this. So hard to understand that. But niggas, like I say, I take my reputation serious. I don't let people just say anything and just run with shit just because I fuck with them. And you got a big channel and you got a lot of people watching. And you're talking about I'm a flip flopper and all this manufacture. It's called instigating beef. You using these other words that you basically like you calling me fake or something like, man, please don't do that shit, man. Don't do that shit. Instigating beef manufacturer. I thought that you said dot a name in that. This I literally thought that you said dot a name in that. This and I promise you, I fucking sit there and DM you. You said you didn't. And I addressed that and said he didn't. But it's manufactured like, like I just. I'm so confused on what's, what's the flip-flopping part and where all this shit coming at where you basically calling me fake or something. Like, I'm doing some, Like, come on, man. Don't do that. Let, let, let me just listen. See, and this is where I got to give um, Michelle Show credit, and I got to give him, you know, mad respect. Because, see, he thought you, you said Dada's name in a song. And what did he do? He hit you up directly and asked you about it. And then you, when you told him no, that, that you didn't say Dada's name. You said something else. He, he addressed that, as he said. And he's got the receipt to back it up. So, why couldn't you show Michelle Show the same respect in return? If you feel like Michelle Show is coming at you some kind of way, why didn't you message him and talk to him before you took your shots at him? Listen, though, to make sure I heard everything right. Your mouth and pull my zip up. I'm sure Michelle Show. Oh. Stray shots just fired at the Michelle Show. I'm going to have to check my Pokedex on this one. You've been from the tip up. And kind of remind. And here's something else I need to address too, because I'm see I saw some hypocrisy when it comes to both, um, well, mainly um, from Knox Hill. Knox Hill called out Dada in his reaction to Ren's diss towards Dada, where um, not where Dada basically took a shot at Knox Hill during his response to Ren. Well, Knox, you kind of did the same thing to Michelle's show. And Ren also did the same thing to Michelle's show. How come you didn't call out Ren for firing shots at Michelle's show? You know what I mean? Like like you did when Dada took shots at you on his response to Ren. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not, you know, jumping on that on the Dada um, fan bandwagon. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to be a, an apologist or a defender of Dada. I'm just, I, I, I keep it a buck, y'all. And, and, you know what I mean? I, I call it hypocrisy when I see it. And that is some straight-up hypocrisy right there. You guys want to call out Dada for firing shots at you in a response that is not towards you, but yet it's cool for y'all to take shots at Michelle's show knowing that Michelle's show doesn't rap right now. Michelle's show says that he used to rap. He used to write raps. He used to do rap. Uh, he doesn't anymore. Now he's just a reaction channel. So... For someone that you know doesn't make music anymore, it was easy for y'all to take shots at him, which is, and, and it's funny, y'all y'all want to call um, Dada a bitch, again, I'm not defending Dada, I'm not, you know, apologizing, I'm not a Dada apologist by any means, y'all want to call Dada a bitch, well, both you and Ren are whole bitches for calling out Michelle's show when it's unwarranted, I'm just saying. Reminds me of my, my stand skit at the start right there when he gets into the uh, the sexual sequences and schemes and then he shots fired at Michelle for the uh, the filter. And listen, here's what I'll say on the uh, the Michelle show. Like for my fans that have gone over there and I'm seeing like a lot of comments and stuff like, please keep in mind, this dude is a hater. All right. Is he a good hater? Yes. He's he's hilarious. He's got very good editing. He's a funny dude. Like he can roast the shit out of anyone and anything if you give it to him. But at the same time. Some backhanded compliments there. I remember what you're getting 
with him. Like, there's also a lot of flip-flopping involved. There's a lot of drama stirring. There's a lot of things that are created and, you know, manufactured for the sake of entertainment. Like, even right now, like, dude made, I don't know, like six, seven videos on me, hating on me, and now all of a sudden he loves me. And he's, like, over-hyping me. Like, you sitting there lying to people. First of all, I made two videos trashing your music, which was the hating on YouTubers 11 and then a song that you did with King Crooked. Am I right or am I wrong? I could be wrong. Let me go back and look. He said I made six videos hating on him. Knox Hill. Okay, I got the hating on YouTubers 11 and then... The game theory, which I was still saying I like him the whole time. And after I did the hating on YouTubers, I got roasted by Jerry D and you came out on top. You were the only person, and I always say that Knox Hill beat me because of the schemes and the behind the scenes stuff like that. And I always try to uplift and put him on top because I actually like him and stuff like that. All the comments, you can go back to all these videos, look at the comments and me responding to people. I always say, I love Knox Hill. I commented on one of your videos, I love Knox Hill. What's the flip flop? When did I dislike him? When did I say I hate Knox Hill and I keep going? And see, and this is why it's hard for me to be a fan of someone like Knox Hill because Knox Hill is not, is not genuine. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to talking about certain people, you know what I mean? See, the... See, I, I'm always a fan of someone who brings re, uh, receipts to their arguments. When Knox Hill dissed Dada, I gave Knox Hill the W because Knox Hill came with receipts. And I still feel like Knox Hill deserves the W in his diss track season to, uh, with uh, with Dada so far because Dada has yet to respond. So I'm still giving Knox the W. I don't want no one to get the wrong idea. Just because, <clears throat> you know, I'm upset with the way that, you know, Knox is coming at Michelle's show. That I'm gonna take the W way. No, I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? Because that that's silly. And that that's childish. You know what I mean? But I I just don't like the way Knox has been, you know, talking about Michelle's show because again, it's not warranted. And Michelle's show so far has shown his receipts. You know what I mean? When it comes to how he's addressed um, Knox Hill, and look again, going back to what I said earlier about just because someone is a fan of yours, that doesn't mean they have to like everything that you do. It doesn't mean they have to like every single song that you put out. I'm an Eminem fan. I don't like every single Eminem song that that's out there. There, there's a, but there's more Eminem songs that I do enjoy listening to than there are that I don't. So what does that make me a flip flopper too? By your definition, Knox. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a huge fan of yours, but yet I still give you the uh, W. You know what I mean in your battle with Dada because you deserve it. And even though Ren did the same thing, took shots at Michelle's show while he was responding to Dada, I still give Ren the uh, W because I thought Ren was nice. You know what I mean? And until Dada, you know, fires back at him, I still think he's nice. And I don't think Dada will fire back at him because <clears throat> I like the way Aunt Ren um, ended his, his diss. You know what I mean? He flipped it and, and, made, and made it into something positive. You know what I mean? So... <clears throat> So, you know, it, it is what it is at the end of the day. You know what I mean? And it seems like, you know, Dada and Ren are, are at a much better place now. So, that's why I'm not really getting on Ren's case as much as Knox Hill. But I'm getting on Knox Hill's case because, again, I, I don't agree with this whole, you know, coming at Michelle's show sideways when, again, it's not warranted. There, there's no need for it. You know what I'm saying? The guy, here's the thing. Not everyone's going to be your fan when they first hear you. They're not going to like some things when they first hear you. But that doesn't mean that you're not going to come out with something that they may say, okay, you know what? I I do like him. And I'm not saying that's what Michelle Show did. That's not what I'm saying. I get what, where Michelle Show is coming from. He he likes Knox Hill. He thinks Knox, Knox Hill is a solid person. He just doesn't like some of his songs. And he is allowed to feel that way. But he likes he, he liked the disses, though. He thought Knox Hill came out with the better disses. He's allowed to say that too. You know what I'm saying? Dude, take your W's where you can get them. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't turn around and say, oh, that this dude's a flip-flopper, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Because he used to hate me, whatever. But now he's singing my praises and whatever, hyping me up and everything, blah, blah, blah. Bro, bro, you, you came out so, so disingenuous with, with those remarks. I'm just saying.
going back and forth. It's always been I like <laughs> Knox Hill the whole time. Now, all my <laughs> subscribers know that. But for some reason, he trying to tell his subscribers something different. Like I'm doing some flip-flopping shit. All I'm doing is judge music. Like, it, my reputation on the line, you telling all these motherfuckers this, and they thinking fake manufactured. No, I just tell the truth. The songs that you made and I listened to, I thought they was trash. I stand by that. I'm not going back in time and changing my opinion. I thought they was trash. The diss at Dada, I thought it was fire as fire. I judge each thing individually. That's what's wrong with you fake-ass YouTubers. Like, See, and this is one, one of the reasons why I really uh, respect Michelle Shulk. He has no bias. He's not biased. If something is trash, he's going to tell you it's trash. If, if it's good, he'll tell you, yeah, it's good. It, it, it has nothing to do with being a flip flop or anything like that. The dude has no bias. You know what I'm saying? He has his own views, his own opinions, and his own takes on each individual thing that you put out. There's nothing wrong with that. And, and I'm not just trying to go hard on them, but this shit is making me mad because they pick a side and they just stick with it. If they like Ren, they like everything Ren does. They like facts. And those are dick writers, which again, nobody respects dick writers. So if you're someone that likes every single thing that guys like Knox Hill put out, guys like Ren put out, guys like Eminem put out, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You, 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 if you're the type that feels like your favorite artist can do no wrong, you're a dick writer. You're a fanboy. That's what that is. It is what it is. Eminem, they like, I can dis what, what what's the word? Compartmentalize or something like that. Each song is its own reaction. Yep. I can hate this, hate this, and I can like this, and I can hate this, hate this. You see what I'm saying? Yep. They can't do that. So they feel like it's flip-flopping and fake when you got individual opinions for individual songs like yep like when when i looked at knox hills disses towards dada there were some things in, in those disses i didn't like i pointed that out there were some things that the, um that knox hill did that i did like you know what i'm saying i did the same thing for dada when dada set, made, made made some made some references and had some lines on on some of his disses there were some things that he did that i i did like but he did more things in his disses that i didn't like and that's why i felt like dada takes the l Knox, again, he did some things I did not like, like, you know, called out some things where he didn't, he didn't have the receipts to prove, you know what I'm saying? So I, I did not like that, but he had more things on his music where he did have the receipts to back up his claims. And I like that. You know what I'm saying? I always back, I always love it when, when artists, when they go at someone and they have receipts to, to support their claims, which makes them a fact, I respect that more. And I love that more. You know what I'm saying? And Knox did that better than Dada. So that's why Knox gets the W, Dada gets the L. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Like, y'all niggas telling on y'all self mm -hmm. if you think it's flip flopping for that. Yep. Like, that's why I don't trust y'all. That's why I don't like reaction channels. He one of them that. Yeah, no Knox Hill is the kind of guy that likes dick writers. I mean, he basically said it himself. You know what I mean? Like, oh, with. With Michelle show being being a flip flopper or whatever. Oh, so you like it when, when people ride your dick then. That's what you're saying. You want people to like every single thing that you put out and not have a true honest opinion about something that they don't like. So you don't want you, you don't want, want, want fans, you want dick riders. We we see you now, Knox. That I wanna like and I think I like, but it's like you saying shit like this, it's like I, I just I don't know, man. I don't know if I can just fuck with it. It's just like, where is this coming from? So I can't blame Michelle for feeling like that. And this is why it's hard for me to want to, you know, support someone like Knox because he, he's disingenuous. He's being totally disingenuous. So I got them two and then I got Knox Hill kill shot, which was, I said, I said, this is the best that I ever heard Knox Hill rap, but it was still some shaky stuff in that. And then King Dada dropped the Knox Hill diss, and I said that I don't think you can compete. So when you came back at him and you destroyed him, which you did, I fucking apologized straight to you like a man, and I said I was wrong. Like I say, I went straight to him, just like a man. I was wrong. I was way off. Where is, what is that? And again, respect to Michelle so for that. Where is this coming from? 
and now it's an opposite extreme and you could just see kind of how he's setting this up like stirring the drama further because now it makes sense like overhype me he can tell that the internet's with me right now i can't tell that the internet is with you right now where, where where's this narrative see li listen to the, the to this this level of ego that Knox has he can tell that the internet's with me right now dude you don't know if the internet's with you right now that's like saying so what you're saying everyone's on the internet is with you not everyone on the internet is with you Knox okay you're 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 not that big you're not that important yes you have a big following I've acknowledged this I I've, I've even said you are a, a million subs better than Dada I said this but just because that is the case that doesn't mean you have everybody on the internet in your corner bro damn the level of ego come on now coming from overhype you i'm setting stuff up what am i setting up i'm reacting when i listen to something i give my honest opinion now i like this is i get overly excited about battles because i'm a rap battle fan i like battle rap more than i like hip-hop it's obvious why i do all this instigating because i love it it's entertaining for me i'd be overly passionate about it on all sides not just hyping you up i hype dada up when grizzy when i hype grizzy up when new future flash went at Gri and, that, and that is true and here's where i disagree with, with, with michelle show he said dada took grizzy on that this track season i disagree i think grizzy took it but that's okay though you know what i mean if, if michelle show feels like dada won that one hey i respect it you know what i'm saying and hopefully he respects the fact that i feel like i think grizzy took it you know what i'm saying but anyway but see but michelle show and i do agree though that Knox was the better mc in this diss track season with um dada you know what i'm saying and it's like dude just like, like i said take your w's where you can get them man if someone's feeling you on certain things take that w dude don't don't be a freaking ingrate and turn around and try to say, oh, this, this this dude is being a flip-flopper or whatever because he sees that I'm doing well, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> dude, just just take your W's where you can get them. Grizzy and Dot, I, I hype him up. Oh, this is, I, like, I think you just uninformed and you sitting here just yapping. You don't know what you're talking about. Like, I'm just being for real, like, let's say. I'm not about to. I feel like it, it's not that he's uninformed. I feel like he's being misinformed. I feel like Knox has people in, in his corner on his team that are just that that are watching um, Michelle's show but then they're just telling Knox what they think he wants to hear and this is where Knox needs to take the incentive to look into Michelle's show <clears throat> on his own look at Michelle show's videos watch them from start to finish and see what the man is saying before you come on before you go and you make an ass out of yourself you know what I'm saying by saying things that are not true saying things that are disingenuous disingenuous you know what I mean? Towards a reactor that, you know, it's not true. <clears throat> I'm letting nobody sit here and, and talk down on my name, right? And they don't know what they're talking about. I, I can prove everything I'm saying with facts. So you saying I'm setting up something, I'm hyping up. Let, let's keep going. There's a pulse kind of on my side. So then he can like, if Dada does respond to <clears throat> My nigga, I swear to God. I don't give a fuck about your side, nigga. I'm just going to be for real. Like I said, it ain't no beef, but I'm blunt in what I say. I don't give a fuck about the pulse, and I don't give a fuck about your side. If you beat Dada, you beat Dada. If you mm -hmm. lose, you lose. Yep. Is all this because you scared that Dada about to come back with something, and you trying to create a narrative that I'm setting something up? Because I just don't understand where this is coming from. This is like the weirdest shit ever. Like I, I... It, it, it is weird. <clears throat> it is weird, but this is... <clears throat> But this is coming from someone who I feel like is having a serious, serious ego trip. And that's just my opinion. I never praise a YouTuber as much as I praise Knox Hill. Never. I just think that your raps is lackluster. That's it. You, you, I can separate the person from the job. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Facts. Facts. Th that, that is a real thing, and it doesn't make you a flip-flopper. Rapping is a career. It's a hobby, whatever. Yep. You as a person, <clears throat> cool as fuck. Fuck with Knox Hill. Like... like kind of on my side so then he can like if dada does respond and drop then he can remanufacture this as a great comeback story and a great underdog rising up against all odds and you can just see kind of no you can't see shit mm. you are scared of dada coming back that that's what that is that's what that is and again i'm not i'm not flip-flopping i feel like you know i still feel like Knox is winning so far but yeah i feel like he is worried 
that Dada might come back with something great. And who knows? And look, if Dada does come out with something new towards Knox, we will look at it. If it's good, I'll say it's good. If it's if it doesn't hold a candle to Knox, I'll say that too. You know what I'm saying? It it just it all depends. We'll, we'll see what what happens. But you cannot foresee what is going on. You cannot and you cannot tell somebody else what's going on in their heads and what it is that they're seeing too. You're you're again, you're being disingenuous, bro. And you creating a narrative. So when he come back, if he come back and happen to beat you, you can say Michelle show created a narrative. My nigga, I don't change nobody opinion. What is it? Am I God or something? Am I a YouTube God where I, I decide like hmm. storylines and I control storylines? My nigga, I instigate the battle. The battle unfolds. I react to it. Mm -hmm. What storyline can I manufacture? If not a comeback, whack. And he lose. I'm you telling me I'm gonna create a storyline that he won, and that's just gonna be it. Like what? I like man. First of all, you giving me too much credit, mm. and and it's coming across like it's an ulterior motive somewhere, or you mm. being passive aggressive because you really just don't fuck with me like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm cool with that. I don't got no problem with that. But I'm gonna take over myself. I know how he's putting the pieces on the board so you just got to like stay ahead of people like that and understand how they set up games and how they play things because people like that understand okay 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 all right i see what's going on man damn i hate it i hate it man i hate the situation but i i can't i can't i can't fuck with Knox Hill, man. i'm sorry man like i say i'm gonna judge this battle and i ain't the type that do all like i say i'm not a type to do all the fake shit like all the unfollowing and the unsubscribing like i said i don't do that because that's too overly emotional but now that i see how he really feel i just i'm sorry i can't i can't fuck with him man you know and again i can't say i blame michelle's show for feeling that way because Knox did not need to go there you know what I'm saying? Should have just left well enough alone, dude. Like I said, take your W's where you can get them. I mean, I'm sure, you know, losing one person at the end of the day is not going to mean anything to him with his millions of subs and whatever. You know what I mean? And his hundreds of thousands of views and whatnot. So one person's not really going to make that much of a difference. So it's not going to affect him in any kind of way. But I mean, <clears throat> but much like, like, like I told Dada, because I feel like, see, I feel like Knox is a hypocrite in this sense. You know what I mean? <clears throat> with the way that Nada, Nada, <laughs> the way that Dada was coming at heads, you know what I mean, distant heads. I feel like Knox is doing the same thing with Michelle Show. In regards to Michelle Show, coming at Michelle Show sideways, and it's not warranted. You know what I mean? The guy is a reactor, much like me. You know what I'm saying? He gives his takes, just like I do. You know what I mean? To which he is entitled to, just like me. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. I mean, I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry, but Knox is all kinds of wrong here. I'm saying... <laughs> Damn, it, it hurt too. It hurt my feelings too. <clears throat> it really hurt. I'm gonna be honest, man. You know, sad music. <laughs> but like sad I say, music. It's, just, it's almost like passive aggressive, man. I try not to. Come, I try to be blunt and try not to come across like that. You know what I'm saying? He he making it personal, personal and personalizing it. Almost. That's exactly what he's doing. Some people like that, and you got to be careful. Like, what the fuck are you, my nigga? I instigate rap beefs. If, if you feel like you're going to lose, you just scared. just say that. Shit, what the fuck? Yeah, now I'm getting like massively overhyped and it's like, hang on. My pen hasn't changed that much. Like the shit that I'm doing. It definitely did. It definitely did. Everybody's pen changes. See, again, the level of ego on this dude. You know what I mean? It, it, this is why it's hard for me to want to be a fan of Knox. Knox has an ego issue. I mean, don't get me don't don't get me wrong. Yes, you, everyone should have some some form of ego, man. But there's some though who have an overinflated ego, and that's what I feel like Knox suffers from. He has an overinflated ego. Like, dude, my pen has not changed that much. You may feel your pen may not have changed that much, but at the end of the day, it's up to the listeners. It's up to the uh, the uh, consumers of the product that you're putting out to say whether or not your pen has changed. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> So and and everybody's pen changes. Not every great MC starts out hot. Not not everyone starts out great. Everyone has to start from somewhere, and people have to learn to become a great artist. I just I, I watched a video not long ago, where uh, when when Snoop Dogg first started, Snoop Dogg started out as, as a freestyler. You know what I mean? He didn't know how to structure music. He didn't know how to write songs. 
the DOC had to teach him how to write songs. As a matter of fact, it was Dr. Dre in an interview. Now, it's coming back to me now. Dr. Dre said in an interview, DOC taught Snoop Dogg how to structure songs, how to write a complete song. So, and look where Snoop Dogg is now. Eminem had to learn to write music. Eminem was, was, was a battle rapper, a freestyler. And he had to learn how, how to write music. I wonder who taught him. Maybe Proof? Dude's best friend? Who knows? But everybody has to learn something. Nobody comes into the music game already knowing what to do. Already knowing how to do, how to do do this shit. If if that's if that's how you believe, then bruh, you are unrealistic, dude. You want to call out other people being being fake, dude? You're coming across being fake, bruh. Let's go. Yeah. Like we can do a poll. Is this um this that you did at Dada better than the songs that I reacted to, which is I guess game theory and something like slow drive or something like that? We can do a poll. Everybody is gonna say that that's better, my nigga. Is like you, you blaming me for flip flopping, you improving. I guess you improving, you getting better. You did better. Every time you did bad, I tried to give advice too. Okay, who is him to give me advice? I'm a rapper. I know that's how y'all think. It don't work like that. My mm -hmm. ears work. Um, it's called constructive feedback, my guy. If you're if you're someone who can't take constructive feedback and learn from it and grow from it, you're in the wrong game. You know what I'm saying? And I don't care who you are, man. I don't care who you are, how big you are. Anything and everything you put out on the internet, it's open season when it comes to criticism. You know what I mean? When it comes to feedback, people have a right to give their feedback on everything that you put out. You don't have to like it and everything, but I mean, you don't got to be a dick about it either, though. I mean, I'm just saying. Oh, I listen to great rappers, so trust me. I, I can give advice to a rapper, you know, but just like being, I think, I think Nasio being overly sensitive about maybe something I said in the past and he take, I, I, I would have to agree. I think he's being overly sensitive as well. Taking it to heart and holding on to it. I say stuff and keep it moving. I don't hold on to shit. Has not adjusted mm -hmm. that far in such a short amount of time for all of a sudden you to completely 180 and change mm -hmm. things. But the man is a hater. That's, that's what he does. No, that's not what I do. How is me? The man is a hater. That's what he does. And so if he, okay, see, again, disingenuousness going on here. He's either one or the other, Knox. He's either a hater or he's not. He's either a hater or he's a flip flopper. He he can't be, you know, one foot in, one foot out. You know what I mean? He can't be both. Okay. It's not Burger King, my guy. You can't have it your way. <laughs> That's not how this works. Me being a hater got something to do with me overly praising you. <clears throat> Don't make sense. Yep. Don't make sense at yep. all, my nigga. Yep. I just tell the truth. Those songs were trash. Consistent. Not changing. These songs is fire. Now, I did like the first disc better than the second. A lot of people say they like the second one. Patiently waiting better. I like this stand better. Maybe because I got distant or something like that, and, and and I like attention. But either way, like, yeah, I just I just can't fuck with it, man. So it's just like, and that's okay too. Like, there's light and there's dark, kind of in us all, in the shadows. And there's some people who like watch that and kind of enjoy that distraction. They enjoy that drama. They take comfort in it. And you know, if it's doing something positive for people, I can't fucking knock it. Let's keep it rolling. Life to clean. Like I say, you say what you said, I take that as disrespect. You can't fucking knock it, but yet you were just knocking him up until that point. Contradicted yourself. Respect, I take that as going against what I stand for and my reputation. Talking about I'm flip-flopping and all mm -hmm. this shit just because I like certain songs of yours and I don't like other songs of yours. First mm -hmm. of all, I never change with the pulse of the people. I don't mm -hmm. even watch other reaction channels but yours, my nigga. Just like that. And I only seen like two or three of yours, including this one, because I got this in it. So I don't watch reaction channels. So what pulse of the people is you talking about? Fuck the people. I got my own. I'm my own man. That's disrespectful to me. You don't know mm -hmm. me. You can't speak on shit you don't know about. Yep. That's why 
I'll be judging motherfuckers' music. I don't. I can't judge your personality. Like they, like they think you a nice guy, but I know you evil. Just like now you doing this passive aggressive shit with your fans and shit like yep. that. And it's like it's making them think something about me that's not true. So I'm taking up for myself. You said what you said. Grizzy Hendrix replied, "Oh yeah, we gonna handle that later. Yeah, yeah, we gonna talk about that later." I said what I said. I'm going to leave it at that, but I just I just don't think I can. I don't know, man. Because when I say I like them, I was being real. I can't keep saying that if if I feel some type of way about the shit he just said. I said, I can't, I can't be fake, so mm-hmm. I really can't fuck with it. I'm just going, but that's the thing, man. I wish this wouldn't have happened in the midst of the battle because now people think I can't judge fairly, which I can. I can separate all that shit, my nigga. I'm here for the bars. I'm literally not friends with none of these niggas. You know what I'm saying? So trust me, I judge everything fairly, no matter what. And I can't wait for that, please. And see, and it's not fair for him to have to, you know, make a waste his time, make a video, having to explain all this. You know what I mean? All because a YouTuber who is bigger than he is, you know what I mean, is going around spreading misinformation. I hope Dada stick his hand out the grave, cause Nas Hill got your ass buried right now. But let me guess, that's that's setting up a storyline for an underdog for Dada to come back mm-hmm. and beat Nas Hill because he terrified, because he's scared. You showed your hand. You showed your hand. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that was Michelle Show with Nas Hill calls out calls Michelle Show fake. This caught me off guard. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and give my man Michelle Show a like. Whether that means anything to him or not, doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I just want to do a, a video on this because, yeah, man, um, I I don't, I don't get why you're you're going in on dude. I mean, well, I, that's not true. I do get why. It's because you don't like dude. You know what I'm saying? You don't like the way dude th- does things because... He's one of those reactors that's that that doesn't have a bias towards anybody. You know what I'm saying? And and, that, and for some reason that hurts your feels. Um, and then the audacity for you to show how hypocritical you can be when you called out Dada for taking a shot at you while he was responding to Ren when both you and Ren took shots at Michelle's show, and it wasn't warranted, bruh. It's like it's like that Ice Cube song, you know what I mean? Chickity check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know what I'm saying, bruh? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And my remix of that is Chickity check yourself before you wreck yourself because too much ignorance is bad for your health. I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all, pretty much my thoughts on this whole situation. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I look forward to checking out all y'all's opinions in the comment section down below. Am I right? Am I wrong? Is Michelle right? Is Michelle so wrong? You know what I'm saying? Is Knox right or wrong? All feedback, please leave in the comment section down below. Really curious to see what you guys have to think about all this. And, uh, yeah. Y'all know the deal. Y'all want to support the channel? Do all the uh, YouTube thank things to support your boy. I will have the link for uh, Michelle Show's video if you guys want to go and watch this uninterrupted on your own free time. You know what I'm saying? More than welcome to do so. Highly encourage y'all to go show Michelle Show some love. If you're not already rocking with, with Michelle Show, that is. I'm sure he would appreciate that. Let him know it's your boy, Jason JV. Done sent you. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. Till next one. Y'all have a blessed one. All right? Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason? JV. What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Patrick. I'm going to have the next video. I'm going to say what's up to me. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're happy, I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. Because my game turns all the time. So you're ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.